Welcome to the Sneak Peek Early Gender Test, the earliest way to learn your baby's predicted sex. In this video, we'll show you how to take the Sneak Peek blood test to get the best results and reduce the chance of male DNA contamination. First, activate your test kit. We can't process Sneak Peek samples that aren't activated. Locate the barcode on the inside top flap of your test kit. Then go to sneakpeaktest.com slash activate and fill out the activation form. As you're doing this, drink a full 8-ounce glass of water. This will help with blood flow and make your sample collection easier. Select a flat counter or table to take your test and collect these additional items. Paper towels, household cleaner, and a timer. Thoroughly clean your space with household cleaner or warm soapy water. From this point on, make sure there's no contact from males with your test kit or supplies. Even a tiny amount of male DNA could affect your result. Place the contents of your kit on the clean surface. Inside, you'll find an exfoliating brush, a warming pack, and an alcohol prep pad. You'll use these first to prep the collection area. The sneak peek snap, a gauze pad, and a bandage for collecting your sample a small biohazard bag and a return shipping label for packaging and sending your sample. First, wash your hands thoroughly and let them air dry to avoid contamination with male DNA. Don't use paper or wash towels. Next, pick a flat spot on the outside of your non-dominant arm. That's your left arm if you're right-handed or your right arm if you're left-handed. This is where you'll collect your sample. Add soap to the exfoliating brush, wet it, and use it to scrub your arm in a circular motion for 30 seconds. Then rinse with warm water and let both your hands and arm air dry completely. Now it's time to warm up the area to help the blood flow. Take the warming pack and hold it upright so the metal disc floats to the bottom. Bend the disc back and forth until it clicks and the pack turns cloudy and warm. Place it on your collection spot and set a timer for four minutes. When the timer's up, clean the area one last time with the alcohol prep pad. Unpack your sneak peek snap. The collection tube is already attached, and you'll see two black lines on the tube. You'll leave snap on your arm until your blood fills between those two lines. Peel off the white liner from the bottom, position snap with the collection tube pointing toward your elbow, and press it firmly onto your arm. It needs a good seal to work properly, so once it's in place, don't move or reposition it. Set a timer for four minutes. Then press the blue plunger firmly in toward your arm. You'll hear a click, then immediately let go. The suction generated as the plunger releases is what draws your blood. Wait for the blood to reach between the dual fill lines or after four minutes. It might happen fast. Remove the snap by slowly peeling it off. Whether your sample is slightly above or below the lines, go ahead and send it in. Our lab will still do its best to process it. To remove snap, bend it away from the tube. Seal the tube tightly with a cap. Snap can go in your regular trash. To keep your sample stable during shipping, you'll need to mix it with a preservative inside the tube. Turn the seal tube upside down and tap it gently on a flat surface to help break up any clots. Then shake it for about 20 seconds or until the blood coats the inside of the tube. Put the tube into the small biohazard bag with the gauze still inside and seal it. Place the bag into your sneak peek box. Pull the adhesive from the lid of the box and seal. Find your prepaid return label, affix it to the back of the box, and mail. Check the label to see where to drop it off. If it says USPS, go to a post office. If it says FedEx, head to a FedEx shipping center. We don't recommend outdoor drop boxes. Pickups can be delayed and extreme temperatures might affect the quality of your sample. After mailing, you can let us take care of the rest. Sneak peek, plan for joy.